How to make the infinite zoom transition. When your love has ceased to be Lord, have mercy. Duplicate your clip, go in the last frame, right click and select change clip speed, check the freeze frame and hit change. Delete the other part, stretch your freeze frame and place it next to your first clip. Right click on it, make it a new fusion clip and go to fusion page. Add a polygon mask, check the invert box and draw a mask around the shape you want to cut out. When you have finished with the mask, add a small amount of soft edge. Disconnect your clip, and start adding the followings. Image plane 3D, merge 3D, camera 3D, render 3D, and connect the render node back. Drag your merge node to the preview window. Select the image plane 3D node, go to the transform tab, and move it to the z-axis until it is lined up with your frame again. Copy and paste the first three nodes, and connect it to the merge node. With this image plane node selected, go in the transform tab, move it back in Z space, and adjust the X and Y to reposition it properly. Repeat this process as many times you want. When you are satisfied with your copies, select the camera node. Make sure you are in the first frame, and go in the transform tab. Add a keyframe for the X, Y and Z value, go in the last frame and move your camera in the Z axis until the last copy. Change the X and Y position of the camera to point the cutout in the middle of your frame. Move the camera through the cutout until you are left with a blank image. Select the render node, go in the setting tab and activate the motion blur, increase the quality and shutter angle. Go back to the edit page, select both of your clips and move them up. Take your second clip and bring it below the fusion clip. Add a drop warp transition in the beginning of your fusion clip and keep it short. Add a new adjustment clip on top, trim it down and place it right in the middle of your clips. Search in Open Effects, and add the Dent Effect to the Adjustment Clip. Go to the Effects tab, and change the Dent to Type 3, increase the size, and change the position. Decrease the Strength and add a keyframe in the middle of the clip. Go in the beginning and the end of clip and bring the Strength back to zero. Just to blend things better, add a short camera shape before the Adjustment Clip, and your transition is ready. If you like this clip, make sure to subscribe. If you didn't, who cares? It's a free YouTube video.